Hello and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Dan and over the next three to six months I will be transforming my gaming setup and also other parts of the house and make it more fun and enjoyable for you viewers to see. Now obviously at the moment as you can probably see in the background there is my bog standard gaming setup. However I do want to change it, upgrade it and obviously I might end up moving that upstairs. Obviously I need to change the layout of the loft and obviously convert that into a working office and obviously there will be some challenges ahead so this is the bog standard gaming setup as i got now you might notice yes that is an absolute mess um i will be changing the full lot um let me know into the comments below on what you think on the ultra wide monitors i don't know whether to get rid of all them three monitors and have a 49 inch monitor let me know what you think in the comments. Now obviously I'm gonna get some questions on my specs, my PC. It is a high-end-ish uh, PC. So I've replaced the CPU. We did have a Ryzen 5, uh, which one? This is a 3600X CPU. Um, I have changed it to a Ryzen 9 50 something X. I know it's not the latest, but obviously it's got all the cores and all the threads that I need to do my gaming. Um, but also, I might have been considered of getting a streaming, like a streaming PC as well. So, if it's worth getting, and you would recommend it, please let me know. But anyway, we've got a RTX 4070 Super graphics card. It is on DDR4. I know DDR5 has come out, so I'm not sure whether to upgrade that. Um, I know that Mike Chaos Early, as you can see on the screen right now, go and check him out. Um, he has got the DDR5 motherboard and obviously the RAM and all that shit, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so there's a decent PC. I have built that myself um, I do a lot of building myself. It works out cheaper um, I'd recommend as well that if you do get yourself a gaming PC try and build it yourself It's not the most difficult thing in the world to do It might be for some but it will save you a lot of money So this will come at a price because obviously I've got to change the monitors they're obviously the peripherals and also the backdrop and also the desk. If you're interested in seeing the progression of this house and what we're doing to it, obviously I've got the garden to do as well. I'm going to make it as modern as possible. And obviously as time goes by, I will put some illustrations or some ideas on for the screen and go from there. But obviously I will be focusing on this gaming setup most and obviously the most important because obviously I'm, I'm spending it here for most of my time when I'm not at work. Yes, I do work. Now you're probably wondering how much is it going to cost. Um, I don't know until I get all the pieces put together. I mean, if I'm going to be changing all the monitors, I could probably sell these monitors off. Um, and then obviously, I mean, they're probably going to about 75 quid each. They are all the same. They're from Ayama. Um, they are 75 hertz, just bog standard gamer monitors. Um, but it does a job and obviously when I do get the ultra wide you're probably looking um, access of £600 Now obviously I'm on the floor for this one because I want to show you the desk and this is the reason why I want to change the desk So these desks um, are from Ikea Now I know some mixed results are going to come from you lot about the desk from Ikea Especially the build quality but I've had them for years But this is the reason why I probably wouldn't recommend it So at the moment, you might be able to see the bow um, in the desk. Now, originally, um, if you look behind me, down at the bottom, I had a stand for, obviously, like a dual monitor. And that was in the centre of the desk. And I didn't have the centrepiece for the actual, um, for the desk. Hence why it's kind of dropped a bit. So, as you can see, I've got two pieces of the of the top end of the desk and it's still causing a bow. Now obviously all these monitors are on single um, stands. They are quite light and as you can see it I mean it was a lot worse than it was now. So I will be changing desks. Now a lot of people will be saying Dan we just get worked up for the same way you have in the kitchen. I was like I don't know and obviously I've looked at some of the ones from um, Secret Labs, I think. Same manufacturer from the chair, as you can see. Yeah, Secret Labs. Um, so I might get one of them, but I don't know. I need a longer desk. Simple reason, if I do want to change these monitors um, to an ultra-wide, I'll have to get a bigger desk. 
who knows. But let me know what you think in the comments. If any suggestions would be much appreciated. At the end of the day, your feedback and input obviously will be put into this build. And whilst I'm still on the ground as well, I know you lot are going to be saying, Dan, the freaking cable management. I know, it's pretty bad. Um, I don't know what to do with that. I might... Once I put the panelling on, I don't know where whether to bring the actual wall a um, couple inches in and obviously I can hide all the cable behind. I don't know yet, but I will figure out a solution for sorting the cable out because yes, it is the best. And also, I've got a piece. This is actually my old PC. I might actually even consider rebuilding that as a streaming PC. I don't know yet. And also, as well, I've got this green screen. I'm going to be changing that to a wall mount so it goes on the ceiling but also this could all change because as i said this might actually all go into the converted loft as well and whether that will fit i don't know we'll see now i know this is a very short video um but this is more of a rundown on what's going to be happening to the next three to six months um now next year i am planning to go to malta a couple of times so stay tuned for that but if you've got any suggestions on for this wonderful setup please let me know um i'm i'm more than happy to, to to actually take suggestions and it's gonna be absolutely awesome now obviously before we end the video i've got some samples of the cladding this is like soundproof and cladding as you can see there's an actual profile there um this will all go onto the wall possibly all the way around, I don't know. There's a picture on the screen, as you can see right now, of Secret Labs and what they've got. So it's a bit of a similar design. The desk, as you can see, is a bit different there as well. I'm still unsure whether to go for Secret Labs or stay, stay with um, Ikea. I don't know yet, but um, we'll see how things go. But on that note, hopefully everyone has a fantastic uh, evening, morning, night, wherever you are in the world. Have a great Halloween and I'll see you all soon.